Is there mold on your cannabis plants? Did your plants suddenly stop growing? Did the leaves lose their color? Then your grow room might not have the ideal temperature. In this video, you will learn how warm a grow room should be. Let's find out after the intro. What is the ideal temperature for your grow room? For every stage of your plant's growth cycle, there is an ideal room temperature. During the early stages, such as the germination and seedling stage, the perfect temperature range is 75 to 85 Fahrenheit or 24 to 29 degrees Celsius. The ideal temperature in the vegetative stage is around 70 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 to 29 degrees Celsius. Once the plants begin transitioning into the flowering stage, the ideal temperatures are between 60 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 16 and 27 degrees Celsius. Proper grow room temperature can enhance color, scent, bud density and trichome production. Maintaining the correct temperature can also prevent mold, mildew and bud rot in your plants. What happens if a grow room is too cold or too hot? Extreme cold temperatures can harm your plants. Plants grown in low temperatures might develop mold that can significantly cause damage. Additionally, the rate of photosynthesis is reduced due to the cold environment. Reduced photosynthesis will cause your plants to grow at a slower pace. But cold temperatures will not only slow down your plant's growth, but might eventually kill your plants if they're exposed to low temperatures for too long. On the other hand, higher temperatures are less of a concern. It isn't as dangerous as leaving your plants in a colder environment, but high temperatures can also cause damage to your plants. It can lead to stunted growth and pests such as spider mites. During the flowering stage, you should be careful with too high grow room temperatures, as it can harm the bud development by reducing bud density, terpene and cannabinoid potency. Cannabis plants grown in hot temperatures without adequate air circulation also often develop bud rot. How to monitor the temperature in a grow room? It is essential to monitor the temperature of your grow room to be aware of your plant's current condition and needs. To get the best yields, you can't let the temperature go too high or too low. Your plants have to be kept within the right conditions. To check the temperature, you must use a thermometer. It is recommended to measure the temperature in different areas within your grow room that aren't directly exposed to your grow lights. If you want to save some money, I would recommend you to get a thermometer that can also measure humidity. If you still need one, you can check out the link in the description box below. How do you adjust the temperature in a grow room? If your grow room is too hot, you can increase the amount of room temperature air coming into your grow space by utilizing fans. You also might want to experiment with reducing your grow light's intensity. While providing a lot of light to your plants is generally advisable, the benefits of intense lights might be diminished by a too high grow room temperature. You will definitely get better results by finding a compromise between grow light intensity and grow room temperature than by maxing out the one and neglecting the other. Having a too cold grow room is quite rare. If it happens, you might want to consider turning on your radiator or keeping your windows closed. You should refrain from having your windows permanently open, even if it's just a single tilted window. While airflow is important, it should be sufficient to open all windows at once for less than 5 minutes a day. You should also have some fans pointed at your plants, as low grow room temperatures combined with poor airflow commonly cause mold. If reducing your grow light's intensity isn't an option for you, changing your growth cycle for the next harvest might be something you want to experiment with. By having your lights only turn on at night, where temperatures are lower, you might successfully decrease your grow room temperature. When doing so, you must make sure your grow space isn't exposed to any light during the daytime, as this will most likely turn your plants into hermaphrodites and thus ruining your harvest. If all of this seems like too much of a hassle to you, I would recommend you to switch over to LED grow lights. LEDs convert most of the electricity into light and very little into heat. This is also why they are so power efficient. When buying LED grow lights, make sure not to buy outdated grow lights. Unfortunately, many sellers still try to sell LED grow lights that have been outdated for almost a decade. There has been a rapid progress in LED technology in the past years. Make sure you benefit from this. If you want to find out more about LED grow lights, what to look out for and where to buy them, you can read or post the best LEDs for growing weed over on the WeedSmart blog. 
you can find the link for it in the description box below. If you have any questions about growing cannabis or is there any cannabis related topic about which you would like us to make a video, let us know in the comments down below. If you want to dive deeper into this topic, you can head over to weed-smart.com and read the full article. Do you enjoy factual and informative cannabis content? If so, consider subscribing to this channel so you can watch our upcoming videos and learn more about cannabis and CBD. If you want the YouTube algorithm to understand that you enjoyed watching this video, leave a like and a comment. See you in the next video.